So in this video I'm endeavoring to show everyone start to finish how to download EK and how and everything you want while playing it. So first thing you're going to want to do is acquire a version of Pokemon Emerald, the original Pokemon Emerald, and you're going to want to put it somewhere. I will drag this to my desktop for example. That's fine. Then you're going to want to open the Pokemon Challenges Discord. The link to this is discord.gg slash pchal. It's very easy to remember. Um, so you're going to want to go over to the pinned messages. And the first thing you want to do is scroll to the bottom and look at this message by Tennis where he says the base EK patch. You're going to want to click on that and then scroll down to download. And then once you download the hack, it's going to give you a RAR file. And then from there, you're going to want to use whichever um, whichever file extractor you have. Mine is 7-zip. I'm going to extract here. And that is going to give me... Yeah, so I, I okay, you can open the archive as well with 7-zip. That's what I'll do. Okay, so then what I will do is extract it. I'll extract it to my desktop here. So now that this has been extracted to my desktop, I have the Pokemon Emerald version as well as the Emerald Kaizo version I want. So now you're going to want to go over to this website right here. It's a ROM Patcher website. We'll have it linked in the description. First off, you're going to click the first one and upload your copy of Pokemon Emerald. Then you're going to hit the button that says Patch File and click on your Emerald Kaizo patch that you just downloaded now. You're going to want to apply the patch and then I will drag this to the desktop for the sake of continuity. Then what you're going to want to do is go back down to that message at the bottom of the pinned messages and look at this ekedit61.ips. Now that is already in my downloads folder, so I'm going to drag it to my desktop. I'm then going to refresh this page. Then you're going to want to take your patched version and patch it with the Emerald Kaizo Edit. ekedit61.ips. Then you're going to want to apply that patch. Then this is going to be your, the Emerald Kaizo version you want to use. So if we go back to our desktop, we have a few different versions. The patched patched one is probably what you're going to end up with that you want to use. So I'll just call this ek.gba. And once you have ek.gba, what you're going to want to do is go on to the Pokemon Challenges Discord again. You're going to go to this top pin by tennis. This Google Drive folder links with Emerald Kaizo documentation, you're going to want to go to that. And fr within this folder, the there's a few different documents, but the most important ones are the EK Master Sheets, the EK Master Sheet, the Learn Sets, and EK.Lua. So what you're going to want to do is open up EK.Lua and download it. And then from whichever folder that's in, you want to drag it to wherever your Emerald Kaizo is, which is my, the desktop in my case. And then like once you've downloaded all your other documentation, you should be ready to play. Once playing the game, you are likely wondering how to use the Lua script that I've just told you how to install. So this Lua script has many functions, which will be linked in a pastebin in the description. But what you want to do is go to the tools section of MGBA, then click the button that says scripting, and then go to file, hit load script, go to whichever folder your ek.lua is in. You want it to be in the same folder as your GBA file. In this case, I've got it in a folder on my computer called Game Boy. And then you want to type your whichever command from the pastebin you want to use. In this case, I'll be using the export all command. This one exports everything in your party and your first few PC boxes to the damage calc. And I find this to be very useful in my run, so I can start calcing quickly without having to close the emulator to open EK hex or anything, which should be a program that is entirely not needed in order to play Emerald Kaizo. 
So now cool. that you've got your emulator loaded up, you're going to want to go to this import export button and hit import with the Pokemon you have. And then you can use the damage count. Let's say that I have my Sunflora out against uh, Brawly's Hitmonlee, right? I want to see how much eight damage Rolling Kick is going to do to me at level 21. Rolling Kick's doing 20 to 24, so I can see what play I want to make off of that, for example. And this, uh, if you check off this only show imported sets, you can basically make it so that side will only show the Pokemon you've imported into the damage calc, which is helpful when you're po calcing with the Pokemon that you yourself have caught. Um, besides that, there's not really much else to do on the calcing and script front. If you do want to install EK Hex, that is also in the pinned messages of the channel. Once you've installed it, there's a few things, different things you can do. The primary thing I'm going to show you guys is pretty much the only reason that I'm using EK Hex these days, which is you want to go to this little tab up here that says SAV and then click items. So then you can go to your bag and edit your items. You can, you just need to type in the name of the item. In this case, I gave myself full restores, max repels, max elixirs, escape ropes, and rare candies. In order to get around the uh, item limit, you can go to this final one that says PC items and you can put a bunch of rare candies in there, going up to 999 instead of just 99. And then you can also give yourself any berries that you may need. This is most notable in the case of the fire types in Old Dale Town, they give you Rost berries uh, if you want to duplicate those for further use. And uh, other than that, pretty much anything else you would use EK Hex for, you can already do with the scripts. So. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more guide content. Uh, I do strategy guides in Emerald Kaizo, I do showdown lives in competitive, and I'm sure you'll find something that you'll enjoy. Additionally, if you have any further questions about uh, anything related to starting your Emerald Kaizo journey, feel free to leave a comment in the description and a like on the video. I'll see you guys all next time.